What's good fam? Uh, how you guys doing? I know it's been a minute um, and I apologize for not posting a video the last couple of months. Um, there just hasn't been anything going on in the DJ world. Um, but on the horizon, finally, vaccinations have rolled out and uh, the only thing is we're still in lockdown here in Canada. So, you know, it's, it's, it's coming, you know, it's starting to get better. We can see an end to this pretty soon. Um, hopefully sooner than later. Bruh. Anyways, to get on with the video, there's a big, big update with Serato DJ Pro. If you guys don't know already, it's update 2.5 for Serato DJ Pro. And this is huge. One of the biggest updates ever for Serato. And it's the one we've been waiting for, guys. We've been waiting for this one. So what's new with the update, you ask? There's a few things. First off, there's support for the new mini controller, the Reloop Ready, and it sits pretty much on a 13-inch MacBook Pro keyboard, and uh, you can DJ live and organize your tracks, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Um, so check that out. Secondly, you can access uh, the Bport link update where you can access up to 100 songs offline but you must be subscribed to one of their subscriptions next there's a new expansion window where you can access your accounts subscriptions and your licenses right on the actual interface right so it looks pretty cool the next thing and this one's a big one all right we've been waiting for this for a few months ever since big sur came out so uh, people have been asking, when is uh, Big Sur going to be compatible with Serato DJ? When can we download it and stuff like that? Well, now it's compatible. Right. Finally, with this update, it's compatible. Also, what's compatible with Serato DJ is the new MacBook Pros that came out with the new M1 chip. Those are now compatible with the uh, update. So amazing. That's what we've been waiting for as well. And what I'm most excited about and my favorite of all these updates is is the phase and serato integration oh man this is this is a game changer guys all right um check this out no more rca cables needed right that's one less thing to forget or to fail yeah, so it yeah. makes it a lot more convenient and uh, the only thing you need to plug in is the receiver into one of your USBs on a computer or if you have USBs on your mixer, you can plug into it there because it's wireless. All right. Speaking of wireless, there's a new wireless mode now on the Serato interface and um, it improves uh, the accuracy and reduces the latency and of course, drift. Another thing they added is a battery indicator on the actual interface on the deck so you can see how much battery life you have left on the remotes. One thing they added on the remotes is that they added a flashing feature when you load in a song and it also flashes when the song is ending. So just like on the controller, it lets you know when it, the song's gonna end, which is pretty hey neat. Hey guys, so this is my setup. I got a Pioneer DJM S11 with Tech 12s, uh, MK2s, and of course the Phase DJ system. Um, I consider myself a, a new Scratch DJ. I'm still learning, still got a lot to learn. And um, yeah, I fell in love with uh, uh, scratching on, on vinyl. So I had to get the phase. Um, I actually got it like eight, nine months ago. And um, I did an unboxing for it. If you didn't see it yet, go check that out. I'm gonna leave the link right here. And uh, yeah, um, everything was good. Like I, I did the review and I, everything and it was good. And then a few days later, I noticed something. And this is what other DJs uh, biggest gripe about um, the phase. There's a uh, chew drift, right? It starts off at 12. And then once you do some rigorous uh, scratching with your uh, platter, um, it starts moving. It starts going here and then um, it starts going over here and then it starts going here and then it's just out of, just out of whack, right? So DJs um, have, have been um, complaining about this a long time. What are you going to fix the, the drift? Where are you going to fix the crew drift and whatever? Of course, it's finally here. The integration with Serato and Phase 
it's finally here and it's great it's tight right i'm gonna do some uh, scratching um over a beat and uh we'll try it at 12 o'clock and then we're gonna see after i scratch if it's still at 12 all right to see if it's still good so let's just get at it let's go All right, so we're going to go back to 12. There you go. Still cute. Awesome. Oh, drifting here. Nice and tight. Okay guys, so I hope you guys liked that video on the new Phase and Serato DJ Pro integration and uh, it's an amazing update and um, I'm so excited to get back on the deck so I can practice my cuts. Alright, um, so if you haven't already, please, please give this video a big, big like and um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I promise to be more regular with my videos and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys really, really soon. So um, this is DJ9 signing off.